Hi everyone, um, I'm Belinda from Being Agile. This is a quick video about um, Agile B and how I've been building an AI bot. Um, so I hope you find it interesting from the perspective of Agile, from the perspective of building a chatbot and how AI can be used in different ways. So a bit of an introduction to AI as well for some of you perhaps. So I found the idea of AI just fascinating and um, I've been quite interested in the idea of um, using Agile, using AI and Agile together. Um, and I had an idea of creating Agile B, who is an Agile bot um, who um, is um, able to basically talk to you about um, Agile and direct you and guide you um, as um, uh, to resources and information and um, basically kind of give you a bit more of a two-way kind of conversation rather than a one-way. So I just wanted to share today what I've been um, building and what I've been um, learning about and give you a bit of a whistle stop tour hopefully um, it's a bit of a minimum viable video in terms of um, hopefully we can iterate this and, and build something um, a bit more structured and less off the cuff but um, I always like to go off the cuff first off with my recordings and often they do get published so there we go um, so I'm going to share my screen. So what I think would be really good to start with is just to give you a little introduction to what is Agile B. Um, so Agile B is a chatbot that lives on the Being Agile website at the moment. Um, and the bot is there to help guide and give you information um, about the business, but also about Being Agile itself. So to direct and signpost you to guides and resources and tools. So um, you can access Agile B by clicking on the speech bubble here. And when you get your, you get a, a little um, box pop up to start the conversation. You can say hello um, and that will bring Agile B um, to you if you like, and they will um, start to engage. So here's just saying, um, hello, I'm Agile B, your guide to being Agile, and you can find out more about me here. Um, and so what would you like to know about being Agile? So there's a couple of different things that um, I wanted to do with Agile B. So one was to give business information. So if um, somebody wanted to um, contact Belinda, that, um, that Agile B could give contact information, um, so contact information through to booking information, email address, connect with me personally on LinkedIn, subscribe to the YouTube channel, so the various things. But I wanted Agile B to be more than just a kind of navigator customer service bot, if you like. So yes, you can ask for email and address and um, events and things like that, and it'll take you through to the various websites and give you links. But I wanted it to be more of a kind of smart guide as well. So if you wanted to learn about what being agile was and how it worked and get some support before and after sessions, then rather than having this, um, having a website or a YouTube channel that you have to navigate yourself, was actually Agile B would help you to navigate that. Um, so initially what I did was I built some kind of default answers. So if you put in, typed in something like guide or game, that um, Agile B will then pick from a list of um, games that I've given them and they will give you one back. So they will give you one in a retrospective wheel and you can ask for more and it will give you another. Or you can use other different types of words. So you can ask for a story, for example, and it will tell you a story. So it's, this is just picking a randomised content, basically, to come back to you with. Um, and then the third stage at the moment has been then to uh, teach Agile B, if you like, about all the different Agile buzzwords and things. So if I wanted to ask you, like, what is a manifesto to begin with, it would just default you to a guide. Um, so it might be about the manifesto, it might not. It would be a kind of generic um, guide about um, that. And I've done that through matching, you know, the word manifesto with a particular um, reply from Agile B. But what would be great, obviously, is if we can type in what is the Agile Manifesto and Agile B will actually tell us. Um, so if I say what is the Manifesto, 
hopefully, I'm supposed to, get to do these things live, isn't it? Nervous face. Um, that Agile B will brilliantly come back with the Agile Manifesto as a set of guiding principles. Have a look at this guide to being about the being Agile Manifesto, which is slightly different to the Agile Manifesto, and the link through to the article there. And then um, also some additional content. So it's kind of saying, here's some stuff about what you asked for, but here's some other relevant stuff as well that you could you could ask for too. So that's really great. So what this meant is that the bot, you can kind of have a bit of a conversation. Um, it will lead you off into information. You might hear a buzzword, say like something like MVP, and you might be like, oh, gosh, MVP, what does that stand for? I'll ask our job B. So Agile B's come back here with, I'm a minimum viable smart Agile guide. I'm the new and I'm the working solution. I'm functional, I'm usable, I'm valuable, but there's still much more for me to learn. And um, so the more you use me, the smarter I get. And then you can learn more about MVPs here and we can talk about it. So it's also calling you to action, I say, and saying, cut in touch, speak to Belinda. Um, book a session let's talk more about this which is is what I would be doing you know when I have that conversation um so that hopefully gives you a little bit of a taste of Agile B and how initially it was built to work um and also want to kind of show you the back end as well so um the oh actually I will show you this now as well so another one is um what I've been doing is so um that layer I've just shown you is kind of quite like here's some information linking you out to the website or to YouTube or just different channels and what I did want to be able to do is try and work out a way where I can um, give Agile B um, the knowledge and information that they need to be able to do some basic Agile training, basic Agile coaching with you when you're talking. So um, especially I think if it's kind of personal stuff and maybe you don't want to talk to somebody about it, you want to just kind of consider it in your own mind, but this gives you a way of kind of imagining that somebody's talking to you about it. So um, a couple of my favorite things, the grow model and the retrospective sale bait, both of those things I've kind of given to Agile B in a way that means that they can now give you some guidance through those models. So the grow model is something I use loads within my sessions and I really like to introduce it to people, but often I haven't got the time because we're so busy talking about Agile, not necessarily talking about how I'm actually delivering Agile to them. Um, so the grow model is great and I find it really powerful for personal coaching. So I do use it an awful lot, but it's not necessarily an agile tool. It's actually a coaching tool. So what I wanted to do is for you to be able to play and get a sense of how grow works um, through agile B. Um, and that may then go, oh, OK, I see how this works. And then you might have a, a, a full on coaching conversation with me or it might be a tool that you can take away and use yourself. So to give you an example of that, let's play. So you can you can ask to play grow and what that will do is that will trigger an episode within Agile B um, to play and run this episode, which is basically playing the grow game with you. So it's giving you a little bit of an introduction. Grow is a great kitchen tool use. I'm going to ask you eight questions and um, you get two questions for each section, goal, reality, options and way forward. Um, and we'll run through this. So it's a bit more kind of two way. So what goal would you like to think about today? Here's your first question about your goal. Um, and so let's think about the goal. This video, let's just use that because I haven't thought about this beforehand at all. <laughs> so the goal is to create and get this video. What pains would you like to relieve through achieving this goal? Well, I'm not sure there's any pains as such. It's probably more of gains I'm looking to achieve. I'd like to share the, um, this with others. And um, I think other people will be interested in how AI works at a really kind of simple level, as something that you can relate to, I hope. Um, so, um, but if I think of Agile B more broadly, then obviously pain that I'm looking to relieve might be actually to provide access um uh in provide engaging access um when i'm not around so to try and kind of give give extra help and support in a new way so let's put extra, extra new uh, way and also effective and efficient way so i'll give up an answer i say okay what am i hoping to achieve this goal um, so well, that's um, but it's kind of saving time. Um, it's making things more accessible. Um, 
and um, so I'm very much thinking about the goal of actually kind of agile B um, rather than this video I've gone a bit more broadly so what is the current situation so the current situation I've got um, um, an MVP bot I'm making a video um, I'm what else am I doing at the moment the current situation we're testing it um, we've just had the latest roadmap meeting um, so there's lots going on at the moment and it's really about kind of getting feedback at the moment this sprint put that in um is this important um <laughs> um it's, it's probably more shiny um it is important because it's um i think it's really important that we keep looking at new ways of discovering things um and new ways of working um so and i believe that this is quite an agile way of doing things as well so rather than kind of one way kind of command and control tell 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 is actually i kind of want to you know make it agile i want it to be a more agile conversation and more agile vibe um to to my resources and, and guides that i share um so yeah that's a really good question to ask me what would you like to do so i would like to um gosh i would i would really love people to subscribe to something like this so i imagine you know we've got a baseline but then actually i imagine agile b being something that you could subscribe to to access more content perhaps or um and perhaps like the the more virtual so this is the text based free one on the website but you can subscribe to an app um, where actually you can have being agile be on your phone and you can ask them a question at any time so that might be like what do I want to do one is build a baseline app two is um, um yeah really kind of see how we can go with the AI so um that that kind of yeah so um the minimum viable bot to the AI bot will say there so again really good to get me thinking talking about what's worked already how can we do more of that so um, I know videos work really well so we're doing more videos so this guide is, is exactly that um, and way forward what can you do to overcome any delays or black blocks or progress well actually the thing that would stall me doing this is getting it done and doing it I do over planning over preparation so I've written myself some notes and I am doing this off the cuff to see how it goes I'm going to record that um, or I am recording this um, I'm then going to share this with the high nine team and they can give some feedback like these bits were good um say more about this less about this and also perhaps get some feedback on the video and then refine this down into a shorter um video perhaps in the future so um like like just do it and um and test it and and, and move forward um, and then finally, um, oh, so here, this gives a nice little um, thing of where actually I've got a repeat. So this is because I'm using randomized content. Um, and so actually now Agile B has asked me the same question twice. Now, this is a really interesting one because in this context, it's not necessarily a bad thing to ask the same thing twice. It's, it's a tactic that we use in coaching. Um, like you might, if you've been coached, you might, oh, and what else, 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 and you keep teasing, why is that, why is that, why is that, so, you know, it's, what other blocks and barriers do I have, what else do I need to overcome, um, so, are there other, other blocks, so, actually, there are other things that are stopping me moving forward, and, um, say, so the tech team, I've, caught up with the tech team now so what they've developed i'm making full use of so now i'm almost waiting for them to come out with a new shiny features so red uh, buttons is one of those which will be great um so um and also just getting some visibility of some of the analytics as well behind it so um features and buttons i think we could add on there as well um, so just wait for things. But obviously it's really good because we're doing agile. So we only have to wait a very short time and then I have something shiny and new to work with. So, and that completes the grow exercise. So it's really simple. It's just asking you some powerful questions that gets you thinking, gets you thinking about this. So 
gets you and that's a really good example of asking the same question twice two very different answers there as I said I'm doing this off the cuff as well I would say this was a genuine thought process of mine I hope it's quite useful um and then what you can do then is actually if this has been quite useful I can copy that and I can I can um paste that out and and keep a copy of that which I think is really useful um but also it might be that it gives me an opportunity to talk about something before I talk directly. So, um, you know, if you played this with Agile B first and then had a live session, it would probably really help to inform that live session. So you make you a bit more prepared for some of the questions and things that are gonna be asked. Um, so that's the throw game. Um, and you can do that with a couple of others. So, and, and again, it's a work in progress. It's working out how I can use this to, to, to engage and work with, with, um, with my clients and with others that want to learn about being agile. Um, you know, so it may be as a initial thing before we have our live sessions, or it may be that you just don't have the budget on time to have sessions and therefore, um, you know, Agile B is a nice option that means that you can still learn about being Agile without it costing you lots and lots of money. So um, that gives you a bit of an insight into Agile B. So what I want to show you now is the back end behind that. So how do we build this? Um, so we built it very much in sprints um, and by sprints, what I mean is every few weeks we're building something and then we're releasing it. So the initial bot was very much kind of just basic business information. So um, how this works is, um, so the, the brilliant thing about this tech is it's kind of taking it, you don't have to be technical, you just have to understand the kind of logic and flow behind the conversations. And at the moment, my logic and flow is, is very simple. I don't have a lot of decision making or choices included. Um, that's not, that's, that's actually in the next sprint once we've got some other features like buttons that will help it easier to guide and, and take people through through decision making so we'll start to build that in so at the moment it's very simple um uh, uh sort of the the user types something in and the bot will look at what they've used in and look to match that with a particular episode which is a reply so how am i what am i going to play what episode am i going to play in response to what the user has asked me um, and that basically is everything behind. So um, what, what is, is happening in that conversation? So we have a world and that world is the being agile world. And that is where agile B lives, if you like. Um, and agile B knows about that world. So they don't know things outside the world. They just know what's in their world. And in essence, what I've taught them, what I've given them. Um, the world also connects out to external sources, so it does connect out to the website and YouTube and email and places like that. But ultimately, we've got Agile B as a world and all they know is what is in this world. So we need to build that world. We need to kind of think about what are people going to come and ask our bot and then how are we going to respond to that? So let's open up Agile B. And um, so here on our left hand side, we've got all our um, all our episodes, if you like. So these are all the things these are all the things that could happen within Agile B within the world. And you can see there's quite a lot of them now. So I'm going to pick out um, a couple to show you. Now, um, let's just pick out hello, because that's a good one. Nice, easy one. So we've got this. Um, intro we call it which is is hello and the user intent we've called welcome and then the episode that plays if the bot recognizes that intent is hello new so um i've obviously created a new hello at some point um so if we just look so the user intent what that shows us is all the phrases so what possible phrases could my user put in um that would prompt my my bot to respond in a particular way so here you can see i've got lots of hello morning evening hola bonjour uh, uh b bot who are you what are you what's your name hiya so there's lots of different ways that they may open so this is often that opening what the what the what the user asks as they open and then connected to that is the episode which is the response and the reply so if 
the bot recognizes one of those words it will then launch this so we saw this at the beginning when we were just um, showing you on the website so this text here now you can match it so the first thing it does is it replies hi introduces itself on agile b gives you a link through to more information about agile b and then asks you what would you like to know about being agile and it's simple as that. So then what the user is going to do is the user is going to respond with something else. And that response will then provoke another episode. So what is your intent? So I'm asking you, what is your intent? What would you like to gain from today? And um, like we saw that we put in um, contact Belinda, didn't we? So that would have called one of these other introductions. Um, so um this is where I have to look for a second um, to say, uh, so we've got email contact there. That's one. So um, you can contact us at info at, um, and that gives a Calendly link. So that one's called email contact. Now, if I look at the intent of that, so um, get being adult email, What's your email, email address, email contact, email, email. So if anybody types in anything around email, then it will output this email contact details. And then there is another. So we've got Calendly there as well. Our contact information, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. So contact information here, we've got contact information as the user intent. So if we look at the user intent, we've got contact information, contact, get in touch, connect. And so if the user shows any of these intents, then it will play out this episode, which is here's some ways you can connect and get in touch with us. And you can see then there's that LinkedIn that we showed before and the subscribe to YouTube and the different things and the more than just a navigator. Now, this is a nice one. So this is a saved reply. Um, so what this means is at the end of conversations, rather than those conversations just going flat, I can add in a saved bot reply. And this, um, in this sense, is um, a particular reply that I'd like to give out. And this is quite nice when you want to duplicate replies. So at the end of various different episodes, I might want to say, look, you know, I'm, I'm more than just a navigator. I can actually teach you about being agile. So you know, here's some stuff that you can do. So we talked about guides and the games and things like that. So then that would link them on. So we have our kind of save replies up here where this is where I can book in those. So uh, let's find the navigator one, more than just the navigator. And so if we have a look at that one, we can see that I'm more than just a navigator if you type guide game story for some questions, see what I've been learning. So again, we saw that in the demo that we did at the start. Um, and you can do all sorts of different save replies. So the other thing I've got is, um, where's my new and shiny one? Um, so new and shiny, what's the latest? This is a randomized reply. So what this means is when I, um, at the end of a conversation, I might want to say, hey, there's some cool new and shiny stuff going on. And so this is a episode that I would update regularly. So I would keep up to date with latest information. Um, and um, although quite a lot say so there's a this is kind of mixed between keeping things timeless and being um, in time in that sense, say so things that are relevant at the moment, but then not out of date either. Um, so how this works is I can ask the bot to output one of these random items by calling on this save reply. Um, so you can see here there's there's different ones here and um, the different save replies that we can use as well. Um, so, um, and with the grow um, game that we played, you can see here, these are all the goal questions. So when it asks you those two questions and asks you two questions randomly, it's picking from this list of goals that I've given it. So actually there's quite a few there. So it's quite, and um, gosh, there's almost an element where I kind of think, well, if it asks you the same thing twice, maybe it knows something that you don't. You know, maybe there's some real good power behind that because actually the probability of it asking you the same thing twice when there are like 30, 20, 30 options 
um, is quite low. So, you know, you might take that that's kind of um, somebody telling you something um, would be um, would be one of my, you know, fun ways to think about, you know, say I can think about this as an error or I can think about it as actually adding to adding to the situation. And how do I work with the technology rather than, you know, that putting me off and stopping doing it altogether? So um, you can see here, I've got lots here. So as they kind of, as you, as you type things in, it will call on different episodes. Um, and so somewhere here, we've got manifesto. So again, that's one we looked at. So your manifesto has got, um, so the user intents for that. So what are agile beliefs, the principles, the manifesto, and what is the manifesto, agile values, what are the manifesto, so anything, if you type in something like this, then this will call on this episode. And this episode then we can see has that content that we saw the Agile Manifesto as set of guiding principles. And then you can see here the new and shiny. So every time you're gonna get a different reply. So you're not always getting the same reply. Even if you come back in and ask, you might see something new and different and shiny because repetition is really kind of easy to spot, I think, and then makes it, um, you know, feel less real. Um, I think even, you know, with stuff like GD, GPD, uh, PT, to, oh, the new IAI bot, you know, you ask it questions, it sounds initially really brilliant, but if you ask it the same thing a couple of times in different ways, so um, one example was like, write a poem about this person and then write a poem about that person. And actually the poems were really, really similar. They just swapped out a couple of words. So it's obviously following patterns, but those patterns are quite noticeable and obvious if you use it more than once. So what we want to do is we want to make it more humanistic in that actually that doesn't tend to happen with humans often. So you'll get different replies. And so I wanted to bring that through into the bot. So, um, so yeah, so that hopefully gives you a bit of an insight into how we're building things. And I, I mean, uh, Merry Christmas has just caught my eye. And um, so that's a, a lovely example of just me having some fun and trying to make Agile be, be relevant and timely. So if somebody says Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Holidays, um, then Agile B will reply. Um, with um, the Cornish, um, Merry Christmas, Nadalic Loen, and have a great Christmas and very happy new year. So, um, and in that sense, I haven't added any extra bits um, on there. Um, but also, like, we've got an exit as well. Um, so when people leave, um, and also I've added some stuff like, say, I talk about, um, I, I use some reference like Mary Poppins. Um, and so if you if you type that in, like, what do you mean by the Mary Poppins? It'll actually come back and kind of say, you're not Mary Poppins bag. We have limited capacity in our sprint, unlike Mary Poppins magical carpet bag. Our sprints have limits. We are unable to take on more work than we can achieve. If we do, we put ourselves in perpetual failure. Watch this clip and read more here. So it's leading you on. And then again, kind of outputting that new and shiny as well. So what that means is when we're on our website and if I put in, you know, uh, Mary Poppins. So I've been on the train and I'm like, oh, what was that thing Belinda was saying about Mary Poppins? It really resonated. I love that movie. There we go. You can see that output's come through here. And then we've got one of those new and shiny um, uh, uh, outputs as well to add on to that. So it's leading, giving people more, um, you know, than, um, than, than, than the baseline. So it's actually building on things as well. So um, that there is, so um, what, we, what I've done is I've kind of built this iteratively as well. So it's not been all built at once. It's been built over a series of sprints. So initially, um, Agile B was all about the um, more the kind of contact information, workshop information, these sort of intense um, baseline business information that allowed me to get something up and running. Um, I then set up the guides and the questions. So those are um, repeat. Um, so games random there. So if we go into that one, you'll see there's the randomized content. Um, so here, these are all the different games that are um, that, that Agile B's been taught about and can give you random replies. There's the more options. So this is where, you know, if um, it, 
if if the client if, if the user types in more at this point then it will transition back to um play again if it doesn't if they don't then it will carry on the flow and go on to the learn save reply so there's the more intent you can see so this is the user input if the user inputs after this more then that will transition them back to the second beat else they'll carry it if it's not more then they'll carry on through so we get this loop back round to try to, to the second stage of the um episode hopefully that makes sense um so that was a really good way of putting content in and then i had um so we talk about backlogs in agile um so i actually had a backlog intent so this is where um so if you look in here um it's probably a lot shorter now but this is where i kept thinking of words that agile b might get asked so like what's a cross-functional team and i'd be like they're just going to get this fail reply all the time because they don't know about them and that's kind of annoying so um rather than having this fallback kind of i don't know a reply is actually think about all those words that i want to add to like my backlog of words that i want agile b to understand put those into an intent and then if somebody asks about any of these things then the episode that will play will be this bot reply which says ah yes that's in my backlog of things to learn about soon let me know and i'll prioritize it i want to know what you want to know so it's just asking people to kind of go yeah it's on my list to do please let me know that you'd like it to be a priority if you do or get in touch to chat more about directly because it's something i don't know about yet um, so that was a really great way of, of kind of working. But then as I've progressed and as I've started to add more, then, you know, you can type in particular words and that will fire off particular episodes. Um, so if you uh, say, um, and there's other things as well. So creative stuff that I've added in. So if somebody asks for a poem, um, so uh, this one, you've got poem, poetry, song, um, and it will play this episode and that episode will give you the um, my favourite Agile poem, which is The Road Not Taken by Robert Frost. Um, and it will also give you a learn, save, reply random, which is more of a here's a workshop or something like that. So um, poem I can show you there. So the poem, I love poetry. There's my poem. And then it's giving me a like here's some more stuff so type question if you'd like me to ask you a question um so i hope this is giving you a bit of an insight into the back end of agile b how it works um how it's structured and what you need to kind of build so basically what you've got is you've got um a series of so our introductions which is where you kind of matching the intent from the user to the episode that then that that triggers and plays um and so these are all my intents so i've got lots of different intents about what people might use and each one of them um contains so this is just a title for it. each one of them then will contain a series of events series of words and phrases that anything that matches this it will then call on that episode and um and then you've got your um episodes which is the responses the replies to things so again these quite often match through so agile method and agile method um and then this is the response that you'll get if you um call on that intent and that's where they're matched within that introduction so you can see we've got um the uh or is it method it will be so we've got quite a few on here and methodology and agile method there we go matching in and then we've got our saved replies so these are kind of replies that we can come back to and include within our episodes and include within our our conversations so booking sessions grow questions we talked about so i'm using this now more for more kind of conversational stuff as well 
and and that really is how agile b works so um what we're doing is when we talk about artificial intelligence is i am teaching agile b you know if somebody asks you this this is how to reply um and and i do love the essence because when i've trained people before to do you know so i've had teams of, of, of doing similar work to me i'm training them and you know if it's business advice i have to always always train people to say you know if you don't know say i don't know um and that is really important because you don't want to be trying to blank it this is somebody's business that you're dealing with so if you don't know you don't know um and so agile b does have that as well um so um, and one of the nice things actually that we've just added so it was like a default fallback reply is actually you can um i can find it overall fallback here um i can actually add extra content um and actually one of the things that we want to do is if it fails a couple of times is to be able to say look you know i don't know let's ask belinda type thing so that's something that we're working on at the moment but you can see that we get that fallback reply as well so that's catching people and helping them um and also i set things up like the glossary if i can find it there it is um <laughs> and what this does is this just gives people a little bit of a tip and guide on how they can use the bot so it tells them some of the things that they can type in suggests that they add in um try agile terms contact information um so and and playing the the grow game play on the sale game game and and obviously just always encouraging people to get in touch because you know this is a channel if you like to to agile be um, and we've we we have run this in sprints um so i will just finally give you a sneak peek at the trello board um which um isn't the tidiest trello board um it's um it's more so my board but the whole team are on the board so they can see what i'm up to um and this has been the board for building agile b um so you can see we've got an inbox with new stuff that's coming in and um, questions that i've got to ask the team um ideas shiny ideas um, things in the actual backlog so these are ideas to take forward that i'm actually kind of working on in the next couple of sprints um and then we're into our current sprint so this is the stuff that i'd like to get done in february so you can see the fullback reply there i just mentioned um the demo video we can make that doing can't we because that should be in doing now um and um what's stuck in waiting anything that's blocked blue is tech stuff um yellow is content green is marketing um and users um and you can see here then i've got our done sprints and i think these are always really interesting to look at because you can see okay so that's when we started which was um the end of november sort of november basically um and this was um basically learning so you can see in this one there's not many labels because we haven't really developed those yet but it's all about how do i do a user input how do i do an episode how do i do save replies testing things out showing um there's there's um there's a way that you can collect information as well which i haven't gone down the the route of yet i've kept it as simple as possible really to get get this up and running just to get that feedback and and be able to share it and then add and evolve and develop it further so you can see it's all about creating you know the name what are we going to call it and things like that that's the first sprint and then the second sprint so that was just a couple of weeks and the second sprint was a couple of weeks as well um, and that was really kind of getting things online so you can see here that we've got a screenshot and we were doing the more and adding links and things like that um so there's some um, some great stuff there and then you can start to see it going yellow so this is now adding content so this is cool we got content that we want to add to it and then our next sprint was um, more content you can see and oh now we've got green so green is marketing and users so that's exciting you can see in our third sprint we've already got our mvp it's live so that's less than you know so what the eighth of the twelfth um so uh 20th of the 11th so well that's three weeks i think we did and um 
and the seventh. So we did two weeks and then one week. Um, and then this is about three weeks long, I think. Um, and so here you can see there's lots of content going on there. There's Mary Poppins vet that we talked about and um, adding Mary Poppins um, and um, various different things. And then in January, so again, we've got lots of green and yellow. So it's really helping to show, you know, taking the agile approach. There's a couple of things there, like um, that was an update meeting, um, uh, getting it up and running on the website. There was a few technical things like that. We had a couple of like issues, so pink is a bug. And then done last month, so January, we're doing some demos and doing more content and um, dealing with some um, issues. So we had a few issues that we wanted to deal with. And then um, we've just started February, so um, yesterday, and um, hopefully I'll get this demo video. So it may loop around, but actually I think this is all right. Um, I think hopefully it's maybe a bit more long-winded than I was planning for it to be. Um, but actually, hopefully it gives you a real nice insight into um, how we've built the bot, how you might use a bot within your own business. And actually, with something like the, the High 9 DD tech, is actually how easy it is to do it um, and, and how quickly we can get it up and running. So this was up and running within a month. Um, with our core baseline information. Um, and then as um, I've iterated, we've added more to it. We've been able to style it. We've been able to add different things. And now we're talking about even new and shinier things that we can add to it and develop it even further. So, you know, I think big, our dream product, you know, my dream product looks very different to this, but this is a baseline. It's a minimum viable product that allows me to get it out there, test it, get that feedback, see if something, this is something that clients would use and work with and, and look at where we can take it forward and learn from that. So um, I hope you found it useful. Um, you know, it does show you how AI works behind the scenes and how something like this works and how you might be able to use it for yourself. Um, if you um, if you are interested in this, get in touch at this point would be what I would say. Um, and there is a code, I think, um, being agile 20. So if you use the code being agile 20, you can get like a free two week trial to play about with this and see if you can set if you want to set it up for yourself. And then the, and, and then I think you should get 20 percent off if you actually want to um, subscribe to it and, and, and make it happen, so to say. Um, but yeah, within those two weeks, you can, you know, think about especially with a. Um, kind of inside track with watching something like this you can really start to think about right this is information that I want to you know teach my bot um, and then think about you know what people might ask in order to get that information and then really it's a matter of filling in the pieces and really nice because you can add your own style and tone and people that have used it have said you know you can it is you you know you can sense it's you and your tone and how you speak and how you talk so which is really nice that I've got that vibe and I don't think I'd be able to get that if I had like an intermediary that I was having to kind of say, these are all my questions and then them putting them through and perhaps, you know, auto-correcting them or wording them slightly differently because that would be the, you know, the, 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 the correct way of doing it. But actually in a conversation, conversational sense, often we, we say things quite differently. Um, so we might say what's rather than what is, um, and that's okay. So I'm going to stop talking because I could keep talking about this for a long time and I could start talking about all the things that I would, wouldn't it be lovely if. Um, so we have used a lot of agile tools in that as well. So, we, you know, yesterday we were talking about what are must haves, you know, in the next sprint, whereas some of the other stuff we were talking about um, was more wouldn't it be lovely ifs. Um, so it's about kind of identifying what we can take forward initially and build and what's good for the dev team to build um, and balance with obviously others using this tech as well. It's not just me saying what we should build next, but other um, people that are, are using the product that we're actually informing the dev team to say, this is what we'd like to see next. So it's been brilliant. It's been set up for helping people with accessing like universal credit and things like that and, um, and helping people um, 
who are going through tough times really to access information and content through another bot that I know of. And um, and so, yeah, I think it's really exciting how um, potentially agile um, can be um, AI really, you know, so how there's a kind of double edge to it. You know, we can use agile for AI, but we can use AI for agile as well. And how do we create, you know, a nice, um, balance and how do we use this technology really effectively to add to what we're already doing rather than see it as something that we're replacing or see it as you know replacing myself um yes to a degree I am automating myself you know I am creating a virtual version of being agile of agile B um and so yeah you know that is what I'm doing and how does that support and um help rather than replace you know so how is this complementary to what I'm doing already and how can it help me to improve my reach and get being agile out there to even more people so I hope you found it useful um please do subscribe to the channel if you have um, and please do go on to beingagile.co.uk and have a play with agile B I'd love feedback um, around what conversations you might have had any um, ideas for what I might be able to add extra as well and as I say if you're kind of interested in building your own bot then give me a shout because I'd love to talk about it and you know it'd be good to kind of think about it in different contexts as well so um, this is obviously in one particular context but you know this is more for kind of teaching coaching consulting um business support business advisory services but i can you know i can see this being used in healthcare in schools in education in all sorts of different areas of life um and work so um yeah i hope it it sparks something in your imagination and um do let me know if it does um so i'm belinda from being agile um and um do um yeah do keep in touch take care bye bye